Hello my beautiful people. Welcome back to another beautiful evening in the garden. I'm so excited to be here with you guys tonight. I wanted to start off by showing you the dried results of the piece we did, the summer garden piece with the piped 3D flowers using the Gaffrey Art material paint. Now how cool this turned out. So the biggest observation, and this is something that I think I touched on while we were doing this, was to fill in the gaps, mine the gaps, because as this stuff dries, it contracts. And even though I thought I had filled every square inch of this as it dried, there are some little gaps. So this is the reason that I did paint the canvas beforehand, because now as you look down, you see white in there instead of the raw wood color. But if you are going to use the piping tips, make sure you kind of go overfill it because you will get these little crevices and indentations. So I wanted to show you that one where kind of less is more was my philosophy. So in the very first video where we did this one, which was another dimension, we basically talked about the piping bags and the paint and talked about using the different tips. And this was a leaf tip that we had done this one um, demonstration on. Then we did this one which was Summer Garden and that was also with the piping bags. Tonight I want to show you guys another way to use the Gaffrey paint, the 3D texture paint, using a palette knife or two or three. <laughs> so these are a lot of fun. Let's get started. Um, tonight we're using this 9 by 12 Arteza panel which I have painted the top with some Amsterdam titanium white and we're going to be using that the paint we're going to be using is this one is Gaffrey art material this one is titanium buff so it's not pure white it is a little more creamy and that's good I like this color I'm excited about using it I'm also using Gaffrey's metallic gold we're going to be using this with this to make our flowers we're going to be using this Gaffrey which is their metallic turquoise to do a little bit of a background and then these two this one is some Van Dyke Brown Golden that I have mixed with Golden's Extra Heavy Gloss Gel and made sort of a similar consistency. Now these are just in little piping bags by itself. I don't have a tip in there um, and the reason for that is this is for piping smaller lines. Let me show you an example of that. So don't laugh at the flower part, but up here to pipe these vines and these Where's the other one? Oh, there it is. Up here like this. To sort of do vines. And it's funny, when I was doing these, I thought they were so thick, but now they look skinny to me because, again, they've contracted. So don't be afraid to use bolder strokes. And that's, you can use these directly. Just put the paint in there and then just cut a very, very small tip. And you got yourself a very nice fine line to use. So we might use, the, we're going to use the brown for sure. And then... Let me show you actually what I want to do tonight, like this, probably more like this, combining that titanium buff with the gold, and then we're going to be using the brown to do a little bit of a center. So that's our model, hopefully. I also have some green. This is a few different greens, Amsterdam ones. This is the sap green and the leaf green, well, light blue, light, light olive green, sorry, and maybe a little bit of this one permanent green light also just all kind of mixed up in here and then i didn't want it too light and i did get this one from gaffrey also which i wanted to show you guys this is viridian green from gaffrey so this is their mid viscosity acrylic and what that means is this is much thinner let me show you it's not as thick as the heavy bodied stuff and you just use this for accents. So I literally took a little bit of this on the back of the palette knife and rubbed it on the on one side of the greens to give it a darker edge. So we have a couple of the different greens mixed in there if we want to do leaves. I don't know if we are going to do leaves, but I would rather have the paint and not use it than not, use, not have it when I want it. Okay, so first thing we're going to do... Oh, and the other trick I wanted to show you. What do you do if you have paint left over? Well... I took an empty piping bag and just dropped it right in there and then twisted that. So now that's airtight and it's going to last until I need to use it again. So I thought that was pretty nifty. Um, okay, first thing we're going to do, I have painted this white already, but I would like to do our actual flowers on a background of that metallic turquoise. So 
to get a nice clean line, I'm going to use my painter's tape. I'm going to just put a piece right here on the edge. We can line it up right. There we go. My scissors. I'm going to put a piece over here. Don't make a mess on your canvas. <laughs> I'm just creating a little border. And then inside that border, I'm going to just paint it with that turquoise. Notice I didn't push down or anything on this, so I'm not trying to like get it to stay forever. I just want this nice clean edge on the center. So that's that. Yeah. Okay, so now I have put some of the turquoise from that big huge bag into this one. Now I'm just literally going to cut the tip of this off. Just the tip? <laughs> and I'm just going to put some of this on here and then we're going to spread it out. So that's the metallic turquoise. And again, I put the tape down first because I want it to give us a nice clean edge. It's okay if there's some texture in here. Okay, so that's good. And now we're gonna take the tape off. And voila. Nice, pretty clean edge. Ta -da! <laughs> that worked pretty good. Okay, so given the size of the flowers that I want to do, I think we might get three or four like this one on here. So now I'm going to show you and talk about the palette knife work a little bit. Let me get rid of that one. And move that over there to dry a little bit and set up. And then we're going to take the board and put our paint down. Thank you, friend. You're done for the moment. So we're gonna open up this titanium buff. I like using these canvas boards to, to use as a palette. I'm just gonna squirt some on there. And then this is the gold. Again, I just put it in these little bags rather than have the whole big, huge, heavy thing out there. Okay. And we're going to squirt some of this right next to it. Okay. Well, you've still got the plastic on that, right? Mm-hmm. It makes it very easy. <laughs> okay. So, the knives that I've been using that I really, really like, I really like this one with this tall, skinny oval handle. This one is actually from Artist Loft, so I got it from Michael's, apparently. But it's kind of a nice oval shape for making leaves and petals. I really like this one. And then I've also been using this smaller one, which is not the cleanest, but the back side is clean, which is the important part. This one says Conda on it, but it's, it's like one of these bigger ones. It's just smaller all around for a smaller petal, and that's what we're going to be using tonight. So, um, but to show you how to load your knife, I'm going to use the bigger palette knife just so it's easier for you guys to see. Let me take this off. Put it there, and then we'll put this up here so you guys can see it better. And I'm gonna put my glasses on, which probably have paint on them. Okay, so what I'm gonna show you right now is how to load the back of the palette knife in order to make the petals. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of the gold on there first, like that, and then I'm just gonna. You ready, HV? Mm -hmm. Kind of grab a chunk of this like this, and then I'm actually going to put it down. So that's kind of what our leaf is going to look like. And I'm going to scrape it up and do it again. And kind of roll it so that I'm getting sort of a rolled shape on there rather than the smudgy shape. And when you push this one down, it gives you a beautiful petal, a beautiful leaf. So I'm going to do another practice one. So that's pretty cute. I want to show you with that smaller palette knife that we're going to use for this. Oops, there it is. Okay. So again, I'm going to get a little bit of gold on the back side of that. Get a chunk of this. Roll it a little bit. And I'll do it over here. Just like that. 
cute. I like the titanium buff with the gold, it's pretty. So not as much gold on that because I didn't have it. Okay, hold on. So we'll get some gold first. We'll get a chunk of this. Okay, I'll do one more. There we go. Cool. So that's the game plan. <laughs> so we're gonna put him back up here. That's so pretty. I love that contrast already already looking good <laughs> and I got some gold on the edge of that which that's okay I can fix it and you can also try to wipe it off that's easy enough to put a little bit more white on top of that okay so let's start shall we all right so I'm gonna get a little bit of gold on the back of the palette knife and then I'm gonna grab some of the buff and then kind of roll it around. What is that word? A canel? That like fancy ice cream scoop? A canela? No, not canela, but speaking of canela. <laughs> that was not a segue. I honestly thought it was. Well, it's a perfect segue, actually. I have some really, really big news for you guys that we're super excited to announce. Uh, Fluid Art Experience is coming back to Dallas. Um, and I'm very happy to say I will be teaching at this next Fluid Art Experience also. I am also teaching at Fluid Art Boutique, which is going to be in Delray Beach, Florida in October. And then in November, we will be in Dallas for the Fluid Art Experience, which is going to be awesome. Um, the website for that is www.fluidartexperience.com. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be really good. There's an awesome cast. Canela Sirocco is going to be teaching there. Mixed Media Girl will be doing um, her Business of Art classes, which are going to be amazing. And um, Pieces of Tara will be there. Jessica Winterstrom, the Massey Boys, myself. Kathleen Osmore will be also at the Fluid Art Experience. So that's going to be a really fun time. I think, um, yeah, it's going to be good. So make sure you check out the website. Um, I think tickets go on sale August 28th for that. And, uh, it's going to be in Dallas at the Renaissance Richardson Hotel, I believe. So there are blocks of rooms available. You can check it out on the website. There's a link to follow through there. And um, yeah, it's going to be really, really good. Okay, so Fluid Art Experience. Awesome tickets go on sale August 28th. I am teaching a Splendid Split Cup class, uh, which I have a really cool piece to show you guys. And we are teaching a Big Canvas class where we talk about all the mysteries of big canvases. We will be doing a 3D texture class as well. I will be doing a 3D texture class. And I have also a ring pours and straight pours class for you guys as well. So please check it out. Come and see us, it's gonna be fun. Okay, let's get back to this. So, I'm just gonna start over. <laughs> Cause I got distracted. Okay, a little bit of gold on there. I'm gonna get a chunk of this one and kinda mix them together okay are you ready husband of awesomeness uh, that's... we're gonna start up here on this corner okay okay here we go and i want to kind of leave the leaves fat i don't want to make them super skinny i want them to stay nice and poofy okay that's pretty cute okay get some gold on there mm. that the ends are lined up next to each other. There we go, at the center. Oh, that's good. That's so pretty. Okay, some gold. Scoop. Oh, Nate Bright is teaching a class at FAE also. I forgot to tell you guys. I'm so excited to see him teach. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, so there's our next little one. Ready, Joy? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's pretty. Okay. Okay, a little bit of gold. Okay, 
See how it's nice and round and pretty and fat. Okay, here we go. Gold. Okay, let's try that again. Gold on there. And let's take a chunk of white. There we go. Okay. And our last petal for this one. Okay. That's pretty. What do you think, HOA? I think it's cool. It looks like one of those flowers from Hawaii. Plumeria, yes, exactly. Now we're going to put some, uh, I have some brown to put in the center. We don't need it, but we could. Anyway, I'm going to squirt a little bit more gold on here. Okay. All right, let's do that again. A little bit of gold on the back of the knife. And a scoop of white. Okay, so this one we're probably going to go about here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Gold. Does it matter which way you do it, outside the in or inside the out? Do it however you're comfortable doing it, so it works. <laughs> this is what I've seen watching several videos on how other people have done this. So. Alright. <laughs> okay, so we're probably going to get more than three on here, which is good. Okay, let's see. Up here, mm -hmm. you think? Mm -hmm. Okay, and it's very gentle. You're not pushing really, really hard when you're putting down the pedal. Actually roll it around so you guys can see the difference by making that shape versus not making that shape. It's a little more rustic looking, not quite as elongated as when you've got it like nice and narrow on the palette knife. And again, I encourage you guys to play with this stuff. You know, I mean, there is definitely muscle memory, there is you get better at it, so practice. Okay. Less gold on the center. Let's see if we can't add a little bit of gold in the middle there. That's pretty. Okay. We'll do one more petal on that one. like one more over here and maybe half a one. Okay, so I'm gonna split a little bit more of the titanium. And a little bit more of the gold. Okay. Some gold on there. Okay, I think I'm gonna do 
do like one petal over here. Let's do it. Get a little bit more gold on there. Okay. Gold. We should have all five petals on this one or just one more? Which way? Yeah, um, I think that one looks great the way it is. You don't think it needs one more right there? Um, no. No? Mm -mm. Okay, well, I'm gonna put one more over here then. Yeah. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. I figured out something really interesting about myself <laughs> when playing with these is that I am actually very linear <laughs> and chaos is hard for me so letting go of control is is difficult but it's it's been interesting and it's been uh, thought-provoking so <laughs> are you guys linear and controlled do you like organization or are you happy with chaos because chaos kind of drives me crazy a little bit but so let me know what you are <laughs> okay one more over here one leaf someplace like maybe one leaf just over here and shouldn't it be part of a flower it could be just one floating in the wind <laughs> i am a leaf on the wind exactly I'm gonna do one. I like that. Okay, now I'm gonna take that Van Dyke Brown. I have the Van Dyke Brown that's just in the bag. There's no tip on this, and I'm gonna cut a very, very small piece of it. Hoyu, can you see that? Yes. Just a tiny, tiny little hole. Okay, and then we're gonna push the air out. And now there's two ways that we could do this. Well, do we even really need? Plumerias don't really have centers. Do they? They're kind of yellow, aren't they? Do they have stamens? Yeah. I could do branches. Should we do a little branch connecting them or no? Maybe, yeah. Okay. Alright. So I'm going to put this branch in here. And that's not really what I want it to happen, but that's okay. I'm just going to fill in. So it's more solid. And then we're going to connect this this way. Alright, 
So I was thinking of putting like little dots in the center with the brown. Actually, let's try one, see what it looks like. Actually, instead of pouring that right on there, I'm gonna just put a little bit on here. And I'm gonna take the tip of my palette knife and dip it in there. And you're gonna go over here on this one, you ready? And I'm just gonna Cute. What do you think? Yeah? Yeah. I like that too. Okay, we're gonna do some more on the other ones. This one now. All that one done. So, so there we go. This is our pretty little uh, palette knife with the Gaffrey 3D texturized paint. So this is pretty cool. Um, palette knives are not palette knives are not that expensive. So I encourage you to get different shapes, and you will figure out what you like. I kind of like this bigger one for mixing, but like I said, for these little flowers, when I was doing them with this, they were humongous. And I didn't want to do a big canvas, so this little one was awesome. And I really like this oval, pointy-shaped one, too. So, you know, I encourage you guys to get a few of them, try them out, see what you like them for. I like this flat, broad one for mixing, the square shape. So, yeah. So, this was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, this is not going to change. It's just going to stay like this, which is fine. Um... But it's going to be pretty. I will show you guys when it's dry. Thank you so much for being here with us tonight. It goes that way. And uh, please do check out the Fluid Art Experience website, www.fluidartexperience.com. And uh, we'll be right back. Okay, so here we are a couple days later. And this is totally dry now. Very, very cool stuff. I love how you can see the 3D... In the sun, you see all those neat shadows of the textures. This one turned out really, really pretty. I really like these flowers. I love the gold on there. I really like the turquoise background. I like the little branch that we put in. Very cool, cool stuff. So this was our Gaffrey Heavy Texture uh, Titanium Buff and some gold. And then we have their turquoise in the background. A little bit of Van Dyke Brown making those cool branches for us. So this was awesome. Um, I think the takeaway from this video is definitely loading the palette knife and getting those nice perfect petal shapes on there. Focus. There we go. The really pretty shapes of the petals. And uh, lots of fun stuff. So I encourage you guys to get yourself some palette knives and play and practice. And I hope we see you guys classes I'm teaching, both at Fluid Art Boutique and at the Fluid Art Experience in Dallas. Thank you so much for being here with us today. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. We'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.